OK, so you want formulas to automatically be entered in new rows in your data. You might add a new row at the bottom of your data set. And you can see here that this formula automatically copies down from the rows above. Or you might want to insert a new row within your data and for formulas to automatically be copied down to the new row. As you can see, it's worked here. Now let's do the same thing over here. And you can see that the formula doesn't copy down. And that's because there are less than four rows, four consecutive rows with formulas in my data. If I come over here. You can see it automatically copies the formula down. And that's the same case if you're inserting a new row within data. So here I've only got three consecutive rows above the new inserted row. And you see I don't get the formula in the new row. But if I inserted the new row here, then I get the formula in the new row because I've got four rows above. So that seems to be the threshold. You need four rows or more above where you insert your new row for the formula to be copied down. Now, if this isn't working at all in your Excel, you might just want to check a little option. If you go to File, Options, Advanced, and this tick box here, Extend Data Range Formats and Formulas, that is ticked by default. But if it was unticked, this functionality that I've just shown you would not work. Now, another reason why your formulas might not copy down automatically into new rows is because you've got inconsistent formulas. So here I'm adding three, then one, then 10, then 78. So despite the fact I've got four rows, four consecutive rows above where I'm inserting a new row, the formula doesn't copy down because it doesn't know what formula to use. So it looks as though Excel requires you to have at least four rows of data before it will consider copying formula down. So that's not very good if you've only got one or two rows and you want the formulas to copy down straight away from the second row onwards. Now you can get around this by housing your data in an Excel table. Just click somewhere in it, go to the Insert tab and click on this Table button. Click on OK. And then if I type in the second row of data, you can see it automatically includes the formula in the new record. That would also be the case if I inserted a row between existing rows. Now, the only reason this wouldn't work is where, again, you have inconsistent formula in your table. But as long as the formulas are consistent, you'll find that Excel will automatically copy any formulas down from the second row onwards. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that is useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.